in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Today, we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the Baltimore Ravens and the Tennessee Titans. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in Week 5 on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, this defense for the Ravens, they were excellent a week ago in the victory over Arizona. And that's not the half of it. They forced seven turnovers in that game. And I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force Damn. the first one. But seven? That seems almost impossible. But we watched it happen. From the 27, Willis. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. On, and they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Inside handoff, Henry. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Ravens, they'll take over. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 right at the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push off. Looked like some hands both ways. They got it on the offense. And sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the DB, and he knocked that one away. Might have caused an incompletion that could have been an interception. Now Jackson. They're looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. They'll try to run for it with Henry. And he is 
has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That right. monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. Okay, ready? Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he stopped immediately there. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And now the Ravens are going to take another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Go A big now. play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Willis on third and goal. And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! Malik Willis, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Titans take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. That's a tough one there defensively because look at the stops they got on first and second down and it's first and second and goal. And then on third down, they cover the receivers, but they leave an alley open for him to find, and he does. That is frustrating. You do almost everything right, and he still ends up in the end zone. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh, a good look in return set up here. The 40. The 20. He will score. Touchdown, Ravens. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge it. Kick it to it. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Throwing on second and long. Willis. Pass complete on the crossing route. This is Hooper. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball, keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they could do their damage a different way, break a few tackles and really scatter some people, can't they? Third down, it's Willis. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Michael Pierce, in all of his 340-pound glory, gets the sack. On uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Taking a couple yards shy of midfield. 
33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Ravens set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. A nice opening right away as he'll maneuver his way up to the 32-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. Give every member of that unit a ton of credit for ripping off such a big gain there because you don't get free for that many yards on a counter or misdirection without everybody selling the heck out of it. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll go again with Dobbins. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 24. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Well, they tried to catch him by surprise, I think, there with that little pop pass on third down, but no luck. You're right about no luck, but I did like the idea. I like the thought process. Make an unconventional call on third down sometimes. It can pop big. In this case, it didn't. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. On the go. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done, because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Second down, here's Willis. And that throw behind his man. He missed him, incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Willis. This is intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. So first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if they're going to turn it into points. No, no. 
after the interception. Here's Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, 46 yards. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Tucker with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one? I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, it's still in the first half here, a long way to go. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play call. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now, behind center. Let's go. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Henry up the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 18. We'll call that a 49-yard punt, but a net of just 39 following the 10-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Second and five now. Jackson, now he's going to let it go deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. Play action. It's Jackson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And the Titans are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. You don't see this often. The quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is this horse 
horoscope off? Is biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? They begin with Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Kevin Pirates, Kevin Pirates, 19 Lions, 70 Timberwolves. Go. Again, it's Henry. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Cowboy 80. Go on track. Play action. Here's Willis. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He'll field this at the five. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say, it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm about to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. On third down, Jackson. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting it back on the sack. The Ravens send their punter out now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He'll take it at the 42. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Titans are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over first and 10. down carry for Henry. Marlon Humphrey with a tackle defensively. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. From the 41, Willis. They set up the screen for Henry. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. The Titans on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. Here it's third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you, you didn't jinx it. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The 
the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Jackson to throw. Going for the deep ball. He's got a man complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. That's evidence of why you spend a high draft pick on a receiver, isn't it, Charles? It certainly is. His ability to make plays like that, and we've seen flashes of it from him so far in his rookie season. But also, it opens things up for the rest of the offense because they have to bring their attention to him as well. They go play action now. Jackson escaping the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Amani Hooker. And the Titans will take over possession here up at the 44. A nightmare of the first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major hey. mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. Meanwhile, Willis to throw is on target to Burks. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Willis slides safely, and he picks up the first down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. 19 Tiger, 19 Tiger. To the air on first down, here's Willis. And finding the tight end, Hooper. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. On first down, Willis. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Titans will take over here at their own 14-yard line. So the holding call on the offense. So they go ahead and decline that one and take possession of the football on the INT. Start with the option. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock 
for the third quarter. The Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. set at the line for this next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, there were three talking points at the half, Cartman. All of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. Jackson. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. 36 yards on the play. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you probably expect to see in a college game, but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment, running plays like this, and they still worry about it. But when you can break up big chunks of yardage like that, it's worth the risk. Plus, you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming, and get down before the big hit occurs. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Throwing out left and finding Likely. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 10 more there and another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. That his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And the Titans are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They got the ball now, following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. A gain of three, second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. First down, Titans gain of 12. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Ready! Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now, 
Now Willis on first and ten. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. How about that, partner? That happened in a hurry. Sudden, explosive, gets into the backfield and spills the play. And he was AFC Defensive Player of the Week last week because of plays just like that. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Willis to throw. It's Henry, and he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Again to Henry. Oh, he's got some breathing room. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 46 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. He's actually utilized more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy. Maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there. You might out of a smaller back. And he will have it. Stone. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. John Harbaugh never shy about bringing out the red challenge flag, and he'll do so here. Now first and 10 at the 11. To the air on first down, here's Willis. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Kenny Moore, and the Ravens will take over here. 12-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like... Unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. Jackson on first down. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities. And this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And down he'll go at the 25. 
They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. On second and ten, Jackson. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. They go play action with Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A big pickup of 38. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now Jackson taps this forward. Jet sweep. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is just a little touch pass. It's in the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to it. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, a nice, consistent gain. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Jackson will throw again. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? going to wind up incomplete. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Jackson now. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, 
but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. A tougher task for them now. That turnover on their last possession led to the field goal, meaning that they have to now try to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Titans! His first career touchdown pass, and yeah, it's cliche to say, but he's probably been envisioning this since he was a little kid. That's a cool moment. It really is. So enjoy the moment, enjoy the time, celebrate. Save the full reflection for later. But make sure you grab someone on the sidelines and say, hey, make sure I get that football. Okay. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Take it in at the three. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This to me, he's got to take over right now. By word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My high school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Now Dobbins again on second down. And some space here. And out across midfield down to the 45. 56 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Another run here with Dobbins. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive game, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Throwing on second and eight, Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first down in field goal range already. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. 
The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly, to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down. Keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to them and go out of game. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit them over the top. Try to pound it in with Ricard. Power on power, but he's not going to get in. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Jackson's going to try the sneak, and he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Now Tucker to add the PAT. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. He's been having a good day so far, but I think he got a little overzealous on that one. Still young in this league. Has to learn to try not to do too much on an individual play because, as we all know, sometimes less is more. And throwing away is preferable to making the big mistake.